Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and evening and amazing, spectacular, wondrous propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master propaganda hero, psych defender of the fatherland. Off here to a 1v1 one one on Bokash in the north, it is JDS, JDS2. Fine for the Red Army, the Soviet Union, Comrade Stalin. Taking on the role here of the fourth guards, mechanized core here with guard motor featuring T 45s Hey, mortars, guard riflemen. Vehicle repair training and mark vehicle with anti tank grenade, anti tank gun, and infinite bullets. Most of the others use MP46. Fun for the German army, Deutschland. Setting out here with the Brandenburger Panzer Grenadier Sean featuring Ossum, Jaeger Infantry, and German Infantry with double infantry or well, technical infantry since Panzerfaust is also largely infantry only in your grenadiers, basically. So grab Northern Point here. Also, big thanks to Simon for donating and supporting the propaganda cast with his hard-earned money. Big thumbs up to you there, Simon. And of course, a two thumbs up to all my Patreon supporters who keep supporting me month after month. You two can join the heroic ranks by pledging on Patreon yourself. You can watch just donate. Links in the description. And now, as you know, comment, like, share, subscribe, press the bell button, keep the YouTube algorithms engaged. Triple conscious there for JDS. So far, good stuff. Sandbags up here. By the Northern Fuel Point, preparing for any German incursions there already. We got the one aggressive spread here by use East and West. Though admittedly, it's the same thing there with JDS, though he is slightly more made for it with his conscripts. Whereas use as the Wehrmacht does take a slightly bigger risk spreading out thinly here. But at least it is important keeping the pioneers close to the MD 42, which is typically crucial in the early moments of the game. <coughs> Making the first move there towards the Fuel Point machine, they're keeping within range to support. Then he's grabbed Western Munitions. Second is got ready there. We got Triple Conscript Dungeoneers there for JDS with his standard Soviet opening. Sandbags by the Eastern Victory Point. Almost got the point here. Gun is up the center. Now some sandbags on the cutoff point there. Very good. Thumbs up. More engineers they're done for JDS. We're probably seeing a third gun is here for use M246. The what follows up there, of course, gonna be the big question. First engagement in the center between the gun and the Conscripts over the center victory point. Frontovix versus Lanza. Third gunny squad there for use M246. Bit of skirmishing there. Conscripts backing off. Keeping one squad there around. Probably worried about the possibility of machine gun appearing and sort of beginning to deal with his men. That the MD42 remains here in the east side. Always should be wary of leaving a machine gun too static, I find, in the early game. Conscripts are going to use here. Bit of skirmishing. Conscripts flattening up here from the south. Flattening going to use there. Third gunny squad almost done. I met, yep, we are seeing the fair tech happening there. So, so far, very much standard opening build orders here from both sides. Nothing that leaves much to surprise there with. Fresh engage from the center. There's the machine gun moves up. There we go. Thumbs up. Pioneers on the flank, so he can sort of you know, spot anything now. These reactive in time. Can't put that suppressed. And with only engineers nearby to really threaten it, that's pretty good here for users taking advantage to push ahead here. We've got the Conscript flank, but they're going to escort anybody able to deal with that. Retracting the other going to escort to further solidify his push here for the center. Good play there, engineers. Being upgraded were sadly not the ones on the far flank. In fact, they might go straight for the fuel point, hoping here to divert users' attention away from his push. But so far, users and gang factor might be pushing straight for the enemy fuel point. That way, secure that instead. Efficient push there, I think, overall. Focused. And we got the Pioneers still laying down some sandbags around the center victory point as benefit. Tech should be almost done now. Could take her to the fast pan from the squad. Or he could go German infantry and rush out a 250 one half track. Got the car on there. Nice play here by Hughes. Cutting off the fuel there for JDS. JDS 2. Medics down there for JDS. Bit more to go for going support weapons. So far, so good. Here's center being claimed by the engineers. Pioneers routed. Oh, they've actually been switched towards the northern victory point instead, continuing the one in the center to the Soviets. Nothing further going on the base of use. No Panzer Grenadier, no light half tracks. No additional pioneers, no nothing. And no doctrine here for use, M246. Roughing it off against the conscripts there. Decent shot, killed him neatly, leaving him quite dead in the muck. And towards the present, conscripts moving from the north, he catches the news there, and machine crew in a bit of a tight position here. Engineers in through the south, the conscripts are pressed. Bit of fierce skirmishing here around the center. Rathbun it off there, forcing the country to retreat. No tech yet for JDS. As for use, his base remains silent and quiet. North here, can in. Then we got the country in there as well. Flame for engineers pushing forwards. In the south here, still nothing going in there for use. 76 Don't feel like a slightly missed opportunity here. Normally, you easy a pants in this. What is that being my experience? Could also consider the mortar, another MD42 team, more pioneers than built up. 
seems like he's intending something else there. Mr. Use. Oh, it does go for German infantry at least. Again, could have rushed out a 250 half track. That would have been pretty sweet. But that, of course, is part of it. 250 dash one half track. Veteran squad leaders. Stormtroopers. Assault and hold. And the fragmentation bomb. So, pop and company up there for JDS. Very much standard stuff there. Probably going to be seeing a field gun. Might see a maximum mortar, but field gun stuff is going to be happening there. Like to make a nice cut to use. Probably going to be a 2 2 2. Still going to go for a Panther Mood Sport, to be honest. Of course, he could be playing Stormtroopers, which would be pretty good as well. I think, yeah, there we go. Stormtroopers up. Swinging in here. Adding the MP40s. Two thumbs up there. Perhaps a bit too close to the end, but still, Storms with the MP40, I think, are quite well. And great. If you know how to handle them solidly, they can actually do quite a bit of damage to your opponent. Because if there's a conscript, they are, I think, up close really, really good. Plus, the ambushes can also cause be really nasty. And in the pins, I mean, you can update them with Panzer Trick to help deal with armor. It's not, like, amazing or ideal, but, you know, it's an option that does provide a bit of extra punch. It is an option. Storms of the Contra up north here. Smoke grenade off to close in, then negate incoming fire. Clever play there by Use. Two thumbs up for that one. Godfather of course, the DP light machine guns. Armored crowd up north here. Storms between the conscripts as they backed off. Storms causing to close in and force a retreat there easily. Very good there by Use. Empty for six. And this man can engage in the center here against JDS as he pushes forwards. Hoping to force the fascists away and use the thing for the southern field point. Very good. Guards caught there. DP lamps and ready to retreat the storm to the thick there. They are not going to win that engagement at that range at all. One can use to veteran status. Two more to go. Armored coming forwards there. That said, he might want to consider two feet and a half to get his rate. That he needs to retreat the community soon because they're mostly alone health and on numbers. So unless something changes there, they risk getting wiped out by JDS. Short order. Armored car they're pushing forwards. We're getting Western points here from use MT46 and the Brandenburger Panzergrenade Division, which, by the way, note the unit icon for the Stormtroopers is the icon of the Brandenburgers, which were initially a special operations unit, you know, with a lot of, like, you know, specially trained personnel with multiple languages, you're trained for changing all the stuff, but I think around midpoint of the war they were transformed into a Panzergrenade Division. Fairly neat, I believe, and they were actually paired together with the Großdeutschland Panzergrenade Division when they were formed into a Großdeutschland Panzerkorps. Fun fact. Armed colors of conscripts. And using the constant and using at the eastern side. <coughs> Guardsman 40, armored car blasting away. And units moving forwards. Gonna use Storm to move forward there. Second squad upgraded. Very good there for use M246. Of course, let's create this with you would go for another guard squad. We've certainly seen players, you know, recently do over two guard squads with DP Lump Machine if they can lay down some serious firepower. Both sides going for anti tank guns. Smoked grenade again. In this case, not going to push forward. Just taking the use of, like, maneuvers troops into a better position. Very good there. Not a bad idea at all here. By use center for six. Sometimes the best move is not to directly run the opponent, but trying to find yourself in a better position to defeat them more efficiently. It is. It could be taken for a fast T70 and try and push for a fast making us under company air. We shall, of course, if it does that. Both players are continue to air focus effort on disrupting the other's fuel supply. Very good. Very good. Gonna just in a pretty bad position here to mine and then constantly finish off a few more. Stormtroopers probably might want to, like, you know, uh, pull into a hiding position at least get away fast. There we go. All gonna be an upgrade to veteran is gonna be a status. Machine setting up back up with the armor with the guardsman. And. Petrov perhaps thinking it's not too far. No. And to keep it within uh, safe tolerances and avoids the entire. Oh, then they pull away there, getting suppressed. Forcing retreat there. Stormtroopers trying to hide, but sadly they've already been uh, discovered and they have to retreat. Now then, you fought to the Vs MD46. Not bad. Not bad. GDS are going for the tank tank command. We shall, of course, see if this means fast T7. At least well paced T7 at this rate. Timing. Or, you know, it's going to mean like just straight into the mechanized armor company. Try and rush out a T-34 from 6, which is also quite efficient. The T-70 course is great versus infantry, but I think a lot of people tend to sleep on the fact that the T-34 from 6 is also pretty damn great versus infantry. In fact, in some ways, it's actually better. But obviously, in terms of timing, the T-70 hits faster. 
a lot faster, which makes what makes the T-70 so dangerous. But there you go, T-70 here for the ADS. Machine repositioning towards the center. When he's dealing with the conscripts, already down to four men. Two men already dead in the dirt. And the Grenadines are likely to try and add more to that particular tally. Guards on time for the North Peak. Gonna fight the Grenadines. It's gonna be a problem there from the conscripts. They are high chance of getting wiped. They retreat too slow. He was probably having to bait the Grenadines into standing around long for the guards to do some damage. And he did get lucky that he didn't get a wipe, but that could have gone ugly here. That said, wipe the machine crew here. That said, two veterans from the escort and not enough infantry to actually gain it. Machine here blazing away. Gunnadi is holding up the line as well. There we go. T sending out here for JDS and the Red Army in the West. Then he's setting up mine again. Really good mine there by JDS. Here this is used. Field bombarding. Machine and the crew that pushed away. Back at base. Nothing further happening there for JDS and the Red Army. In the center of the news console, there's a pack for the armored car. And he's got down to three men now. Swimming up though. And forcing retreat on the Grenadier. Use has. Yep, to take up. Oh, he just takes up right there. Purely good. Season remaining 40 for the ADS and the Red Army. West Hardy Machine Gun setting up again. This time manned by Grenadiers. Stormtroopers sneaking about. Sandbags in the center. Grenadiers running up. Two's back at reinforcing him for the ADS. And he's managed to get off the tank past the and light tank. Taking heavy damage in the process, but there goes Storm Trooper comes in the center. That should be winning for the Storm Troopers at that range. Gunhunt gonna add off to add damage. Forcing Trooper, there you go. Field Bombarding here, and there you go. Almost takes out Ludwig. Causing the Storm Troopers to back off. Almost got ready to push out to Marmon here versus JDS. We himself could try building the mechanized armor company and set himself up for medium armor. He could, of course, also go for another T70 or try and go for the Ocean 6. T7 rushing forward, taking these backing, or MD42 backing off there. Back here, triple reinforcing healing. In the center, gonna these there, healing up the Storm Troopers, very good. No, they do have veterans run, get the ability to heal themselves, but they're just not quite there yet. T7 moving up against the machine gun there, pack 40 shoots, miss the T7 armor coming in as well here. Storm Troopers there, moving northwards as they're gonna try and hold up and push in the center. You know that we've got merch constantly with the guard squad. Thumbs up there to JDS. Yes. Thumbs up. Got the grenade off against the Gunnadiers there, right in front of them. Still doing a good big chunk of damage there. Enemy is taking our he is pinned territory. down to the ground, screaming for assistance, but there is none to be found. That's the T 70 skittles out of there. Field gun moving forward here, backed up by from the south here again. As all this is happening, he hits the fuel point. One squad sets for mine. Two thumbs to the JDS. Guard squad there suppressed. No support call yet here for. Oh, just as I say that, he builds it. Damn typical. How do they manage these timings? I somehow, like, with unerring accuracy, manage to, like, always time it with just as they're about to do it. Feels bloody awkward. Anyways, let's get him here with the field gun. Ralph going against the guard. Squat there. Field gun hammering away. They're three kills on it so far. Machine gun there setting up again. Storms was there with two kills. Very close to efficiency one. And we got the Sapoma call right about down there for use. As for JDS, his base remains silent. No further activity happening there. No attempt to push further out there. No heavy mortars either. Good old call to the enemy. A bit of artillery. I think it would be very good addition here for JDS and forces versus use. Sapoma call there is done. Could go for Panda Fork. Could go for Aspen. He could, of course, also go for the Stug. Probably won't. They're not like the situation demands it, but he could. Then he's basically healing themselves up. Thumbs up there. Worth noting with the. Veteran school did upgrade. You're going to just get the field first aid up ability turned into a free ability. You can just heal for free. Tossing the storm, you can heal themselves. And it's not like you really need a medic bunker. Like, you like even have like say a panther squad base. Like you know you don't really need it. So there we go. Good work here by use M two four six panther von Neufer, the Panzer Kampfwagen Fear. Enemy forces are securing our territory. We're likely to force response with JDS, either going for a field gun. Additionally, you'll go for an HV6. Since one field gun can work with the Panther, because in particular, a map like Bocage, there's only a few more risks associated with that. Since then, again, it's a much more open removal of maps. The field gun on its own may not be quite as effective in just shutting down the single Panther 4. That said, really good smooth play here for JDS, and these again just grabbing up most of the user's map there, even as you focus in the center north. 
very good play there by JDS. Then we got some solid map control skills there. They did get the Indians killed. Guard squad is down to base just one guard from the rest of the conscripts. You know, I remember when guard squads tried to kill the guardsmen. Not guys, you know, like you. A more chart there as well for JDS. Very good. Didn't call in the hay motors, but that you know, motors and motors and should be scoffed at. Then there's the guard squad here in the south. Panda 4 there setting out. Of course, that'd be kind of machine gun. We got the mechanized armor company up for the JDS. We will probably see T-35 since that's a very good uh, counter choice here to the Panda 4s. The T-35 tends to be fairly superior to due to having more health in general. Which means he can easily just in a single engagement tank out the Panda 4 and just wreck it. Panda 4 arrives. One third of the guards can't export there, taken out. Up north, they got the Blanco Hunter not in the conscripts. Lighting them on fire, catching them in a sea of death. A flare off here from Gideon, yeah, scouting out the front line, looking for easy targets, but also, of course, trying to scout out users' movements, trying to predict where he might be next moving in. Is it up the best kind of move for that? It's very nice use that he's also using scout ability here. The reconnaissance mode is a really good sort of uh, use of intelligence gathering there by JDS. Very nice. And yeah, I like the going here for the T-35. He could go for the T-34-76, but uh, the T-35 again just performs much better as the Panther 4, but forced you to like go for something bigger typically. Troops sitting out there from the base once more. Good on that being put back by the enemy for two on the Panther 4. Almost got a walk out there. No. Well, you can soon go for the T-35 anyways. Going for the Western Fuel Point with the Storm, which is very good. Michigan defend the Eastern Point. And there you go. T-35 on the way there for GDS and the Red Army. Going to be flanking the conscripts. Are the two squads engaging here from the front? Right on the mortar. Far up north, Storm to right here with the engineers, the T-70 and the guard squad. T-3045 halfway done, going to need to advance in the centre here, we got 324 to 447, so 5 GDS is a nice lead there in the south, we got the MD-42 as the conscripts. T-7 push back to the MDC, Panda 4 moving in, and heading south to deal with the conscripts and heavy cover. Just around then the stormtroopers for some reinforcements. Finally getting the pinball machine added to the Panda 4, very important there I think. Typically, the attack did a good deal of damage to the Panzer IV. And that's going to really just add to his lethality versus infantry. He got a mortar as well for use of the I got not enough zone. Definitely had enough of his opponent only being the only one with one. Very good there. Thumbs up. And again, worth noting, mortars have definitely time to become a bit more of a metric, part of the meta game again here. We'll, of course, have to see how long this lasts. Keep him in the forward, take a second nasty hit. And there goes Gonad and Effort here for use for 6. Steady advancing the guards, constant in the T-35. Up north, teaching the perspective of the infantry to the pack 40. You turn around the pack 40 with the T-35. Because the pack on its own, it's not going to do it in particular, not with the guard squads. However, depleted backing up the T-35. There you go. Pack 40 gets great on the T-35. And yeah, yes, I think very wisely just backs off this since with insufficient support now, since the guards' consequences were pretty much held to go home. He can't push it out there. Storms was adding a pantry trick at this point. Yeah, okay. I mean, while it does represent a bit of a loss there in terms of anti infantry DPS, it does mean they actually become bad against infantry. I mean, up close, they'll still actually beat a lot of infantry, I find, if used correctly, so you know. But still, you know, it does give a bit of extra punch with the T-35 until he gets a stoop or something else, at which point, again, you know, it's nice. Plus, you know, in a pinch, you can then also use to say if you got stoops, use them to support the stoops' flanks, you know, somewhat. Ooh, infantry awareness. Really nice there by use. He's definitely uh, flexing a bit more of the uh, abilities as well. So there you go. Storms with the Rakete and Panzerbuchse. Pantling in there. Panzer quickly treating there. Having none of that. Ooh, Marmadol Thomas taking up the transport there. Definitely unfortunate for JDS. Hoisted by his own petard. Storms with fire the rocket and misses. Awkward. Pantling down less than half of them. Going to back up to the Storms squad. Gunnar's holding off the guard squad there, more firing done. 
Also got miles of fire fired off there from the Soviet mortar. Something up. The second rocket misses as well. Not great fortune there for user stormtroopers. They're definitely trying their best, but they're falling short. What happens if he goes for the Stu here? Would be half that choice was the T-35. You could also go for an Ospin. More likely just go for another one to fall. Don't think you're before they get annihilated. He's signing out the storm. to hope to bait in the T-35. Also worth knowing, do get vehicle detection with the pantry check upgrade. Which can now just spot more stuff on the minimap. Even more fun fact, it used time to detect everything. And it looked like took a year for anyone to discover it. Even me, like, who's actually big and storm troopers, never realized this because I don't use this at all. <laughs> Very embarrassing. We got 324 versus 431. Pioneers ready, for ready here, troops reinforcing. Tension go for another Panzer IV. Pioneers right of there. Panzer is almost good to go. Right then, there you go, another T-34-85 on the hit for JDS and the Red Army, the 4th Guards Mechanized Corps. Got 15 the of 129, JDS has a nice lead here over use M246 in terms of victory points. T-74 repairs, T-35 getting repairs. No, it was not uncommon for so tanks active fuel drums attached to the sides like that to increase range so they can actually drive longer. That said, of course, they did have to be mindful about making sure they're actually empty when they join the battle, otherwise they could actually risk lighting on fire, though typically they were empty, but you know, sometimes yeah, accidents happen. Got the second T for the ready there for JDS. Pantherum and Eastwood, Pioneers being around here with a T-35. In the west we've got Gunnies with the conscripts, that should be an easy win for the Gunnies. The Cunscripts aren't even like, you know, full size, full of and they don't have the reserves mobilized, so that's a fair straight for there for, I think, use Pantherum's T-35, Gunnies pursuing. T-35 and Gunnies pushing the backpack of the conscripts up north here, pushing back the T-70 there. Pantherum and the T-35, working on course. JDS is kind of isolated a bit here. We got the Storm Troop 10 close to the Panther 4. Very nice there. Providing excellent anti tank or tank support in general. Could use it to an infantry, anti tank, and of course, assist versus tanks as well. So, you know, very nice complementary support team there as well. No use of the tank protection so far. Panther in the corner, bad spot. The T Flips backing off. Mortising cleared up the T Center Region 4 there by getting taken out of the pack 40 here. JDS tried, I think, to do too much here. Perhaps also a bit sight there with the bigger picture. Gun needs a bit of trouble out in the open. T5 there holding back here in the far east by the river bend. Field gun pushed back in the center conscript. They're being blasted by the Panther 4. No additional sign of armor. Is he going for tier 4? He is not. So not entirely sure what's going on there with the use of tier 6. Stormtroopers was there very close to veteran 2. Another field gun there for JDS. He's not reinforcing them, which has me thinking he's staying up for the Panther 4 now. Another flare shot there from JDS. Okay, sending out the Stormtroopers, not reinforcing them. Still no Panther 4 though. Now he's reinforcing stuff, so I'm not entirely sure what he's planning there to be honest now. Sending out the Grenadiers as well, not reinforced. This is getting a bit strange. Storms are hiding out. They're having to uh, bait the teeth of the into Pantra Shrek. Seems a bit of hesitancy about use at the moment. Perhaps not entirely sure which direction to take against these T 55s. Backed up everything else they've got. Digging around the center. Caught here by the Panther 4. They're showing no mercy there to the Russians. But there you go. Double field guns. Showing no mercy to the Panther 4. There we go, going for a second pack. Stomps on the wrong side of the heavy cover, they get blocked with the T-35, but they still get the rocket off. That, to me, reeks more perhaps a tier 4 move sudden here, but use, yup, tier 4 there. Well, suddenly, a bit slowly, I would say, went for tier 4. They could use that, you know, 
at least set up things there to be pushing out stuff like the Panther now you're onto a Storm Panzer. Phantom in forwards here, armor car engaging as well. Again, very consistent use of infantry awareness though. No use of vehicle detection. Blame myself off there. 269 versus 423. Eastern fuel claiming harassed by the consequence with sandbags as well. Second pack 40 ready. Take almost done there for use to take against me to the pack Takes another losses against some clown and pan insists on being on the other side of the cover. I'll tell you why. Still, that is the end of the storm from squad there for now. Has to pull back for enforcements. But Gears is definitely playing very slowly now. Very hesitantly. He seems to be trying to build up to some sort of planning meet the capitals like just concede too much initiative and ground to JDS. Long JDS is just build up force can be very difficult to use to deal with. So definitely I think some uh, potential cause for concern here for use if he's not care cautious. Depends on very close to bit me too. Storms are they good to go? Keep the fossil sitting out there for use M246. T for 35, not S76, that's a kind of mistake there. Don't shake the M42 there though, we've got the conking up here as well. Mobilize reserves up, very good. Machine gun routed. The enemy is taking our territory. Mm, still not much going on the base there. Stomps are rounding, flanking, rocket misses again. Second rocket, clearly not any intent of the T-45 there it seems. Need to treat the storm before they get wiped though. I mean again, just like with the MP4, you kind of want to be at closer range with the Panther for it to be like effective. It's not wildly accurate of ranges, unfortunately. Taking blast with the T-45 north here, pack 4 nearby. Shoot, gets good in the T-45. No heavy Panzer core yet, the few 76 Now the hit the T-45, great there. Northern Vic's one single tent fighting here between the guard squad and the armored car in the M42. Suppressed it already. Could get some mortified down there, I think. Just further dissuade them from existing. But also worth, worth keeping in mind here. JDS right now controls both fuel points, which is potentially very dangerous here if they use them for six in the long run. Panzer 4, they've actually two shoots added. Field guns firing right the Panzer 4. Misses. And North Guards from Rowdy. We got a fact taken on the field in terms of snap them out with the power of the Luftwaffe. Field cleared out there, and the other one doesn't get away in time. That's both field guns. Open here, but destroyed here. By using the position, that does miss beat here with the pack 40. Very good, but we got to in force there. Panzer trying to keep in the way there. Can lead to me to assist as well here. Pack keeps missing there. Go. One assist gone down. One more to go there. Go cruise the other one. We're still going to be wiped. There we go. Contrast will wipe a huge smack across the cheek there against JDS. His ears ringing, and there you go. Field and cleared out. Panther from T-35 here. You could see not just both field and cleared out, but a T-3045. This would be a huge blow to JDS. And the Red Army, only compounded like you just gone for more tanks already by now. So like, you know, going for T-4 and then not doing anything. Again, there seems to be some sort of like, you know, plan, but it's being executed at a... Fairly sluggish pace. Finishes with the T45, takes out the Panzer 4. Ground the center. Nothing further on the base of use M246. He's still on victory point, he's still bleeding out. I mean, he certainly got an advantage, but he seems very hesitant to use it or is not aware that he has an advantage. But you can occasionally have due to the fog of war, like even like you're destroying the follow opponents, you may not feel like you got the advantage. Oh, the other storms are bleeding away now. Get some out of there. Oh, so close, but uh, no dice, no dice. And forming in, they're quickly backing off. Then he's in trouble, they caught next to car by two country squad, they're going to have to back on country squad and the guards, country squad. Put in the teeth at home of the pack 40s. Ooh, we've got an ace as well here. Another hit there, looking pretty bad for the T-45 here. And he's still moving about them. Still not entirely sure why he went for tier 4. If he's not going to build it like fast and get something out of there. Instead of just going to go for all their medium armor. 
Motor farm around here, motor bear trouble. We got another T-3458, yes, and the Red Army. That could definitely be a big problem if we use M46. Motor snuff that once more. And he's going into crew that one instead of just grabbing the point, they're not sure what he's doing here. Panis looks like they're finally going to build the heavy pentacle, but definitely took him, I think, an awfully long time to get there in the first place. Definitely not the most efficient. Quickly into reoccupy the center. Many bankrupts, done for their need of reinforcements. North AT filming in, missing crew in trouble there. Armored car could also be in for a rough time here in the center. The Glenys, conscripts, Pantafall, clashing, packed forward in the northwards there as the T-5 routes here. The northern positions of use them to protect them, also wiped out there. Armored car hiding behind the old building there. We go, pack 40s put a stop to the advantage of the T-55. Uh, the one thing of oh, protecting all is good to go now. We got the third one joining in in the center. Can't grab by the Glenys. Guards from the Abad Flanks is coming fire. There we go, T-5045 joins in. Very close to 22 on that one. Got one, one which is slowly approaching with your feet, falling further off there from the front line. In need of repairs and far south. The third T for five might be playing something, could be possibly playing to raid here, users base. Whether the case of hey, pants was fine, yeah. We go for strong panthers, panther, but we also go for a panther. That is what so the size. Gadius could soon go for 4 T-35, that's going to be a lot of T-35s. Uses motor here from the Panther, you watch that, now you go can build the Panther now, Panther rushing forwards. Another field in there for Gadius, no additional T-35, on H-35. Uses M-246's base remains fairly inactive, besides some light reinforcements. There we go, pant on the way, the Panzer comes back in front. Made by the Panther on the conscripts. Panther on the game guardsmen. More of our rain down there. And an H-55 of JDS. That's going to be quite punchy here versus the armor, in particular the Panther. Swing up the west side, gonna hit the points there, very good. Very good, T for the halfway done for use M246, halfway done. Okay, that's the last one. Yeah. Down there. Bit of quiet again, heading for the southern victory point in the, for the Germans, machine covering up that little raid. Pentacles, the conscripts. Up the Panther 4. There we go. Panther out here for use MT for 6. And Panzer comes back in 5. Fired up so fast on T20 getting good news here. Pat 40 shoots, misses. And we got the use of fire. They're going to be quite a bit of armor from the third sides and uh, not quite as much armor from the Germans. There's certainly quite a bit of other things like infantry and support weapons. In the south, T45 strikes here for the motherland, getting ready to the process. Can't get the guard coming in here. Gideon's, of course, if you could, could consider a Another infantry squad, but he's got a lot of armor instead. Panther moving forwards here for use MT46. Gonna go for that T for Puppet, gonna be back up the other one. Pack gets off some good hits. In the north here, the T for the Asian Farm moving in here. Need to be careful doesn't dive too far in there against use MT46. Pack five down the in here. Other T from Norfords as the Panther moving forwards here. It's going to catch Shady's bit off guard here. Shot fired. Panther hit the Panther though, and the Panther gets returned shot. Contra the. Yeah, going to get an extra grenade off there. Damaging the engine the Panther already had used. His Panther rush there did not quite uh, succeed in the way it hoped. The T from the get knocked out. Need to get the one out of there. That was awkward, but he just managed to get the T foot far out there. Other T foot up north here with a damaged engine. It should far more or less good to go. Panda full keeping watch with the center. We also got a machine gun bunker set up there. Interesting, though, he doesn't hold the big chip on yet. Definitely two versus 361. Comes being hammered here by machine gun fire. Supply sector under attack. Driving center victory point. T-5000 need repairs, lots of armor in fact need repairs here for JDS and the Red Army. 
more the firing gun, T for the third firing in there. Engagement gun is hammering away the bits, 80 firing and gun, it's cracked for oh, that whole machine gun. I don't think X had a cartridge machine gun. I've been wrong there. Maybe I am wrong. Panther 4 there in light meter repairs. Obviously, the Panther is the one that's really need repairs, having been rather dinged up after encounters with soda anti tank grenades. T filming 14, Gaming Gun Mears out in the open, they are easy targets. There we go. Jurgen drops dead. Mission 5, they're looking to snap the Panther 4. Does get hit, but needs to disengage the face of the Panther 40 here. In the south, here, not on the set of scrams. Got the Panther almost good to go. Back up with the Panther 40, the T 35. It's quickly dissuaded from any further ventures there for now. Comes up in 40, being clear the Panther 40. And get more armor in. They could overwhelm the Panther and possibly take it up. We've got Storm between the forts there. Looking to uh, cover up there as well. Up north, a bit quiet. They can try and launch an assault from here. Catching his flank off guard. Does look like with a flare in my pen. There we go. Gun hunting out it. Storm with Charlie in there. Gunning down the surge in the open. Might want to get a bit closer though, so there's any body fully effective. The amount of do need to be fairly close to the to be good, but we do get them close. They do pack a punch ring in there to flank this T-35 there with their punch track. T-35 up north, it's running the gun of ears here. A bit awkward yet, still getting up some damage in here on the center of the sick. Pack body up their punch to land ahead there, close to the east, the golf's going to be destroyed. Bunker being hammered there, T-35 disengaging. Panther, Panther 1, Hot Pursuit, T-35 needs to get out of there, needs to get these firing to assist. It's an end from George, be useful. H5 shoots and misses. We got 202 versus 272 here. Pack T filming forts here. H5 continues to provide some semblance of covering fire here, but keeps missing, unfortunately, for GDS, but very fortunately for yous. Very fortunately. Bit of quiet here again. Chief of a rushing south, they're going to catch the machine in here and send it back in. So this tank definitely need to be repaired up again, and you may want to consider, like, actually, I think a bit more of an aggressive armor assault here versus use, and try and, like, you know, just make a deep push that does a lot of damage. Then we need something up, catching the Chief of here. It's going to grab the victory point name, so focus on the north center by the looks of it. In, gets another hit on the Panther 4. Panther 4 shoots and misses. Pack 40 also misses. Panther fast attempting the T 35 there and does succeed here. Damaging the T 35 again. Constant sword leaving his tanks damaged. Just not like easy to be able to assemble like an armored assault force here. Do you think ADS may want to be slightly more mindful towards such a strategy there and shifting towards it? Enemy forces are neutralizing a sector. Finding in the center here, in the north as well. Guard for the flip and wipe down. H5 gets one and pass through the side arm of the Panther 4, which is ace level. Great there for use and for six, but handling the Panther 4. Johnny is being blasted into blaming over the T5 Panther wing forwards. Close veterans one the south here. Can't find a guy with the gun at ESC. We got 194 versus 229. Gideon is back to bleeding out the use and for six. Johnny is there being hammered. And we've got an anti tank rifle left behind. Old tanks and mortars get to go here. He's also got reasonable tanks to replace these, you know, one T-35. He could also just go for two T-34s from the sixes, but... Got another flare in the center, T-35 coming up there. He looks like he might take out the bunker, and there we go. We've got pack 40s nearby, an ace little pack 40 of that. Definitely a dangerous thing here for the T-35, other than the quick flank it. In this regard, JD is definitely starting to feel like he's got a bit of time vision here. Or perhaps up with some hesitancy, either way. He's not quite thinking playing to the net as well as he could. You know, exploiting opportunity against use as well as he could, but admittedly, now there's use at times. Machine then trying alongside the ace pack crew, now go machine crew annihilated. Panzer 4 almost knocked out, he's beginning a bit dangerous here for U-746. Well, fortunately, Plimp JDS is actually not, I think, pushing the advantage here. He is not pushing the advantage. The way I think Yuz would actually be in a lot more trouble now. 
you could be in fact in some serious trouble. But again, yeah, yes, they're just not quite having that tactical sense, it seems, that finger spitzgefühl. So suss it out and maybe like, you know, make another push and like this tank's damaged. The line of this ace pants will be fixed up, Stormy 40 up behind Hanukkah up again. Down to the counts, can push them into the arms of the MP40 building counts, Stormtroopers. That's it. One of them goes down pretty fast, but we do get a kill with the Panther Shrek, actually, and gaining the ace level. Which actually allows the Stormtroopers a win. That's fairly impressive. North Wing towards the victory point, they're getting suppressed in the name 32 room, which remains in the position for now. A final round of sending between use and JDS, Panther forwards, gaining meta 2, shoots and added, so good, so good. In fact, North Wing comes pinned down and by the MD 42, which is never getting closer to the next level. Modify against Sir Mortar, which is firing off another flame. We got a Stug here for user number 6. Two thumbs up to getting a Mike Stug. Vince are flanking up behind the force there by the victory point. Very good. They increase the chance of maybe getting a wipe. Or catching anyone else. Ooh. That's a pretty bold one. Like most players don't try to rifle the native retreating squad because it's much typically like harder to gauge, but it's still making the attempt. Pen put in for the T for the Got the farm moving in here. Got down the Panther 4. Betty 2 by the way, which is great there. Panther 4 2 for in there. Panther 4 could be in trouble. They're actually depending on what the JDS does. Not. And he's T for the exact in the Panther by the Panther and the Pack. And the Panther 4. About to get knocked out by the gun his team at first. On one new mark, he's just altering 40. Probably, oh, looks like it does. Allowing the ace team up escape. That's actually pretty big there for the ADS in the end. Then it's being hammered though by their own armor. Not great. You got 172, 176. Contrusion on the way there for JDS. Panther Ring 4 bats. Shot 5, missed. 85 did not. And Panther Ring for the Panther Ring for armor. Still coding back in the base. And Katusha is a bit off there for JDS, he's got too many units. Climbing on the sun, they upon their storms without the conscripts. Walter under fire from the T3485. Machine gun bunker still standing. Surprising considering how like where its position is like more or less in the middle of the map, which typically tends to be like one of the worst places to have a machine gun bunker since they'll typically draw the attention, but. Hughes has been rather fortunate here that Bunga has not been reduced to a smoldering pile of rubble yet. Almost got the sun victory point. Got the constant trial for the gun of the years. Five versus five, this should be one for the veteran gun of the years, since obviously their five is a bit better than the Kanska's five, but they're going to take the amount of loss. He has Molotovs, he might have a chance here. Or the T for the Falcons. T for the Falcons have a bunch there. We should force the Ganesh retreat. There we go. Going for the northern and center victory points as well. Mortal Court, they've done the spokes in the bunker. He's not, he's just going to bombard it. Can't finish off that way. He's actually close to doing it. There we go. Finally got the machine gun bunker. Finally got it. Stu is a bit more close to the front line now. Say good, say good. Katusha ready, but the Consequence is almost, you know, wiped out in the process. Mortar in trouble here. Nasty hit there. Up north, victory point there. Left behind by the search for now. We got the Katusha. This could be a problem for use. And the support weapons, depending how well JDS makes use. The Katusha. T coming in here. Engaging the single crew there. Giving them a close assist. Other T for joining in here. 40 kills on those gonna be a really impressive kill tally. Which is fine way there. Oh! That's a real whiff of a barrage. Not really hitting where the support weapons are, where the infantry are. Most like you may be scratching the paint job with the pentacle. That is a really big waste of a barrage there. That's gonna be quite some cooldown there. It's gonna have to wait for it to wear off before we can then start bombarding again. That's you know a minute and a half or so. So that's gonna have some time there. Lost. Stu can then gain the team for the round there. Very good, very good. Stu close to to one already. So good. There we go. Got one of the T-Fed fives. That is huge. Both T-Fed fives went down. This is really big. This is a real beating here for JDS now. A real fashion. He's going for more field guns. 
This is great for you, that people's sakes. Right, he just took out two tanks. Leaning JD is now significantly undergunned, and he's also shot an infantry, whereas again, users got four infantry squads, including the mighty stormtroopers. And again, he kind of wasted that Kachucha barrage. So while the match has been somewhat fairly tense and close for some time, those losses rather gave uh, use a bit of an aggressive advantage. That said, it's not impossible JD to turn this around again, but uh, that hurt for him. Clearing out the sandbox with the Panther, pin machine all the way there, very good. Half lead to the east on that Panzer Kampfwagen Fünz. Crew they engage. Stu gets good on the T-35. Driving the eastern victory point there, Pantling Forbets. Comes from 40. Shot fire the Stu from this is three divisional field gun. He's got two ready now. That's only a challenge for you to deal with. I mean, two field guns is a very powerful tool. There's a reason why a lot of surf players go for it. Very big reason. Storms on the far here. Mortran down the conscripts so up north here holding up at the northern victory point. Got 172 to 115. Tony's moving forward, so we got 109 points left. Pants for the blast at the conscripts. Shoot fire name, Pants will take a nasty hit. It's just found that Ace looks actually pretty good here for the ADS. Good here on the Pack 40 trying down there. Pack 40 crews in trouble machine. There's also what he could get a wipe. He could get a wipe. Pack crew down. If you can finish off the on that big bait there for the ADS, you can exploit it. In the south here, the Pack was about to surge back up with the storm to the gun beers. Still got a fragmentation bomb ready as well to further cause harm and grief here to the ADS. for the wing 40 for JDS and the Red Army. Panther there within the shooting range. They could just see each other. He's found Jaden Stu. Pretty well with someone within Stu range. Pretty well. Could see another field of oh, fragmentation bombardment here that I think could very much just got JDS on the spot there like a fish. Panther coming up here. Oh, engineers in trouble here. They're gonna get wiped out. They're gonna get wiped out. Oh dear. Panther back to blitz past here. No, doesn't. Doesn't. Oh, could lose if we got a fact check bomb. Finally off here from use, but almost lost his ace panther four there. But somehow Fortune did and field crew though exterminated. Like vermin. And now there's just the field gun behind plus the DP lot machine gun, which the gunners can actually pick up if they want. North here, Pantle Demon, the country, they're very close to death, though, shooting their Vetic 2. Two thumbs up to that. Didn't grab the DP lap machine gun. Slight miss there, perhaps. Also, no penalty in the Stooky. Did lose the Panther, though, unsurprisingly. Mission 5, T building repaired, Kitchen shielding back, and firing again. JDS definitely feeling the pressure here from use, but going for the victory points again. We've got 172 versus 58. Ram the center over the conscripts, the Throntoviks. As the first push here comes from use end position as gonna be is. But yeah, yeah, I wouldn't recommend like going for like pantry checks and the stormtroopers like, you know, as a standard thing. Like more like, you know, unless you really don't want to get so go for any tank, you can use it like that, or you know, feel like the need for it. It's definitely not what recommend in a lot of circumstances, but you know, you can do it. Second stupid diffusion fix, so that's very good. That's going to be a definite fit to the armor, and obviously a lot better than the Panther. The a lot better. Good hit on the T for the hub there, halfway to the east level. He's farming in, they need to be careful, need to be careful. Nice hit there, almost ace on that. Storm gets shot straight out from gate. Storm's around with the Panther check, good hit on the east 5. Stu got target weak point there, huge shell. Lining it up there, very nice. Almost ace level on that dude now, almost ace level. And we got the second dude ready here for use M2 for six. To get that dude fixed up though. Ten kills on the stormtroopers. 
past quick flying bats, the storms will start coming after them. Picks up the storm, gets shots, pan forming in, this shoots and gets a decent. Oh, that actually doesn't get a decent at all there. Another T 34 85 on there for JDS, and then army got 154 versus 57. Still fairly close here. It's only trying to look like uh, used increasingly has the advantage. Nothing to do with the counters there. Mortifying them down still. Second T35 almost done it for JDS. I will move forward here. Ace level, right to the Stukes. Stuke misses though. Shazer. There we go, great hit in there. Got Ace level to increasing. Great, a final ability. Panther fast off there. Ace T35 in trouble. Almost got it here. Hits the other Stuke, not the Ace Stuke. There we go. Ace Stuke. Renders the Soviet tank kaput. Wunderbar. Rocking it off here. It's really, it's Panthers when you got Ace Stoogs. Also, a lot easier to get Ace up compared to a Panther. Panther going for 40, right from the field, and other field in trouble as well. He really signed to follow apart now for the ADS, I feel like. He's lost Sandra Tank, and he's, he's dying. He's barely got any armor. Make you better while doing some damage. Still struck here. Panther one trouble though. Blitz in the way there. And down it goes. Leaving just the two stooks now. Could there be an opportunity now for Gaiti to turn the game around? Perhaps. Perhaps that the two stooks could also still very much wreck any chance here from Gaiti yes, to score a win. Rushing ahead with the ace to go. Probably send the slow one first. There you go. Gaiti here. Teeth have almost down to half health already. There we go. Half health. In fact, less than that. Destroying the field gun. Forwards here, Panther Fast and HD5 can win to finish them off in the Stromgeschützer. Definitely looking pretty roughly for JDS to use MD6 unleashes the might of the Stoogs. Or not. We got 137 versus 56. He still would benefit from pin machines on them, to be honest. But there you go. Austin here for use MD6. No, cancels that. Cancels it. Perhaps he's planning a Storm Panzer instead. 52 versus 37. A mere 50 points remain before our defeat. Troops sitting out there. Storm troops sitting out from the base. Going for the center victory point. Mortar joining in. Committee Storm troops ready to counter attack. In the name of Deutschland. Mortifying down the conscripts. Direct right here. there. North E. Carson gaining the Ganes for the Eastern victory point. 137 versus 36. Stu good to go, more or less. Fix up the Ace Stu. Can't go for the Storm Panzer now. If you five setting up at Ace level. T-35 is also good to go. Nice smoke grenade here to help defend the Beast and Victory Point. But not taking any fire. Although we can call get hit by grenade, but we can also throw in the Storm. Oh, got in there, go. Blind Hunt got it off. Cheeky. Choose your fire in the center. By now, enough to dissuade you, send for six from risking these men's lives to grab a point. Ace Duke rushing forwards for the Deutsch. Number there goes straight to the Ace, Ace to five. Moving forward though, Mark tries to move out here. Oh dear, oh dear, he loses the Ace Duke. A tragic blow to Germany and German on morale. And the end in was a hero. A true hero. Don't run, get wiped out though. But there you go, nonetheless, GG game over. A victory here for use MD6, a loss for JDS. A victory for the stronger shots. In the end, I feel like the tier 4 was just kind of a waste of time and resources for use MD6. I think it actually ended this match faster, just, you know, pushing more stuff with the Supremo Core. JDS at the time, on the hand, I think, suffered from just, like, lacking the confidence to make bigger attacks with his tanks and just kind of sent them piecemeal, which gave use enough time to wear him down. But that was, I say, an interesting match there, certainly highlighting the power of Stoogs. So there you go. Hope you got this match. I learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on it, tell friends, tell family, don't tell enemies. This is Imperial Team. Cheers. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow again for a nice episode. Bye.